So we're going to talk about how, what are the steps we need to go through to change a data table that's in that wide organization so that it's in a long or a tidy organization. And here we're looking at data that's from one of the great data nuggets, the do insects prefer local or foreign foods. So through the activity, they present students with this data table for the organization. That works with that activity. This is not a, you know, in no way a critique of the activity. We're just using this as a great example of a wide data table to think about how we can reorganize it as, as a long or as a tidy organization. So the first step is to think about what are our variables or our attributes. So we see we've got plant type. We can see that we've got year of data collection. Um, and then I actually know from working with working with this data table previously that this that the third what what's in here, which doesn't actually have any labels anywhere on this um, on this data table is the proportion of leaf eaten. Okay, so these are in essence the three the three variables that we have, the three pieces of information that we have about different leaves. And we've got three different plant types. We also happen to have three different years. And then we have, oh, I should say that this is an average. We have the average value of a proportion of plants that in 2011 were eaten by native, or native plants were eaten by these insects in 2011. So what we want to do is rather than this wide organization where we've got sort of one component coming across and then another variable, sorry, one variable going across as our rows, another variable is each of our columns, and then the third variable is embedded within the cells, we want to create one variable for each of those columns. Let me spread these out so that we're not overrunning the text so that we've got a sense. And then begins the, um, we just copy and paste over. So I'm just going to paste the value so that we don't bring any of that formatting through. And we know that we have this value for 2011 for each of those. Don't know why Excel is being wonky and adding that can formatting in. So for this, for these three plant types in 2011, we have three values. For the same plant types in 2012, we have these three values. For the same plant types in 2013, oh, no, that's not going to play nice for me. We have these average values. Now, this is pretty easy. You can then go in and do whatever formatting that you might want to do. It's sometimes helpful, as was in this original data set, to mark things with, with color or with bold or lines, things like that. Now, this is just a three by three, so it was pretty easy to type this in over and over again and copy and paste. But the trick is that this is often how it goes. There's no easy way to create this wide into a tidy because things are embedded within Excel. Now, that's different if we want to go from a tidy to a wide. Then we can leverage pivot tables. But the simple answer is it's a lot of just sort of copying and pasting over. There might be some other small hacks. If you've got them, share them. We would love to have them. The benefit is, is that typically when we have a wide organization to our data tables, there aren't copious amounts of things that we need to copy and over, copy and paste over. And when we can get pivot tables working, it is easy to transition out of this long or tidy format back into a wide or a summarized version of the data. And just as a reminder, why do we want tidy? Why do we want long? because this makes it easier to graph the data, to explore the data. So hopefully that was helpful to give you a sense of the steps of how do we move from a wide to a long organization of the data. Thanks so much.